Hi everyone, my name is Dmitry Guminyuk and today we will review integration of the report portal uh, with uh, Java stack. Uh, we'll use the Java as the most common uh, stack with report, integrated with report portal and based on the Maven, TestNG and Log4G engines. Uh, well, let's let the most uh, useful links for today will be uh, report portal, server address by itself, the confluence page with all the detailed steps we need and the source code at the git uh, where you can download uh, your own source code and try it by yourself. Uh, well, let's review how it actually works. And I can say you that uh, te all the te uh, report portal appenders or agents uh, consist of the two parts. The first one listens to for your structure and the second one is working with your logs. And here we will have testNG and the log4g. As soon as testNG executes the test cases, it will trigger events uh, of starting and stopping the test cases. And uh, our listener will collect this information and send the request to our server to start and stop the test cases. So, based on this, our report portal adapter will recreate the structure of the of your test cases in memory. And at the same time, uh, logs will appear at, in your process. Uh, a lot of logs and um, during the execution log appender will ask uh, will ask the uh, test ng listener which is the actual test case right now uh, so based on this information it will send all the uh, logs to the related test case at server side so this is how we report portal adapter can know the statuses of the test cases and the logs for each of the test cases. Let's review it in the code. Um, first of all, we will need a source code, which will be uh, can be found here at ipam git under the git ipam com address. Uh, just clone it onto your local environment, and you can follow me with your steps. Uh, when uh, after that, let's check we have the Java installed. I'm sorry. Oh yes, it's okay. And the Maven installed. Okay, we have both of them. Can go on. Uh, the next. Steps can be found at the Confluence page, uh, which is available under epa.ms/rpp, and this is the official Confluence page of the report portal. You can find these steps uh, down here in in structure under test framework configuration, or use the link at the bottom of the page. Get started with report portal. Here you will find uh, four main steps uh, which you should to follow in order to integrate the report portal. And as I said, the report portal adapter consists of two parts. Uh, one of them is the framework, uh, the engine, the listener, and the logging. So let's start with the uh, structure first. As I said, we'll use the test engine. And here we have it. Uh, first of all, you should add a dependency inside your POM file. They can be copied right from here. I'll open up this in my idea. And as you can see, here I have the source code already downloaded from the git. The source, source files and resources. 
Here is the POM file in the root. So first of all, I will add the repository here. And actually, I have already added it here, so I'll just uncomment it. And as you can see, uh, the official artifactory pumpcom is available here, but uh, currently it's not available outside the uh, EPUM infrastructure. So in case you need uh, the uh, li libraries to execute uh, report portal at this uh, customer side, please follow the link here and download all required libraries right from our artifactory. Please use la the latest version. Well, let's get back. Um, so once again, I've uncommented the repository and now I need to add uh, dependencies, which will consist once again of the client, which will listen your structure, and the logback integration, log4g integration here. Okay, we have it in our POM file. Let's see the next steps. Now we should add the listener. This is actually the code which listens what's happening inside your test engine. We have a list uh, of the options, how it can be integrated, but we will just um, specify it inside as a listener inside our configuration file. Here it is. I will uncomment my listener. Okay, now we have it. And let's see what's happening with the execution. And first of all, let's uh, check how it works without the report portal. I'll comment back all the data and execute the process. As you see, as you see I'm right now under the root of my source code and the POM file is available for me here. So I will execute the Maven test. As you can see, the uh, source code was compiled, uh, executed with some results, and as a result, we have 22 test cases, uh, 4 fails, and 7 skips in them. And as we can see, we have just a regular report here, a text report with the information that happened with test cases. But now let's get back to re the report portal integration. And I will uncomment it, all dependencies once again. Okay, it's ready. And also one uh, important step we should to do right now is the configuration. Uh, so we should provide the uh, settings for the report portal agent to be able to send the data to our server and even to know which server sh uh, it should send the results. Uh, configuration example can be found right at the report portal page uh, under your profile. Just click the uh, drop down menu right here and open your profile page. And as you can see we have the suggestion panel here which will uh, set all the parameters according to, you, to your account with your username, UUID for uh, access, uh, the launch name and the project you, which you should execute the results. So just copy it and paste inside the report portal properties file which should be saved in the resource folder. Here it is. So here we have uh, the endpoint where adapter should send the results, the authentication part, uh, the name of our execution, 
the project where it should be saved some tags and the key storage uh, which is relevant for Java this is also one uh, important thing uh, you should not to forget and uh, put this uh, key storage right in uh, in root of your resources uh, the file can be found itself uh, once again at the report portal page in your profile at the suggestion form uh, with this link just click it and then load it for your need put it inside your resource file resource folder here it is Okay, now uh, I think everything is ready. We have the uh, uh, certificate, we have property file configured, POM XML, and now can execute the main process. Let's clear and call my main test again. As you can see, almost the same happening with test cases. And um, the same, we have 22 test cases run. But now we can find our results uh, inside the report portal itself. Here it is, RP integration just started just a few seconds ago. Uh, and. Uh, Currently, we executed just a part which is relevant for the structure. So, as you can see, we will have all the structured test cases, the same as we have inside our test automation, but it will be empty. Uh, this happens because of currently we have no configured uh, logger appender inside our um, integration. So, let me describe you it with. The, this picture again. So currently we have only the first part, this part. Uh, test engine listener listens for the structure and send the events to the server. Logs are running by itself and not uh, have no any dependencies on the current test case. Uh, so nothing sent to the report portal as a logs. So now we need this link between test cases and uh, the logs and this can be done uh, with the logback integration uh, first of all we should define the appender and the detailed steps can once again can be found in conference page the conference page uh, let's get back to the steps uh, we did pass the first step, now the second one includes the login and here we have uh, logback. Uh, now we should describe the appender inside our configuration and make it available. Here it is, the described appender. Turn on it on for the trace level and also turn it on for the debug level. Here we have the new, uh, newly described report portal appender uh, and how it's wired to the logs. Let's save it and execute one more time. I will call the Maven uh, test and we'll switch to report portal. As you can see, we have one more execution which is already finished and here we have all the test cases once again but inside those test cases we have all the detailed logs we have inside 
your test cases with all screenshots attached inside the execution. So that is it mostly and uh, please send your questions or just correctly review the integration steps at the report portal conference page and thank you for listening. Bye.